Today I'm going to show you the logic gate, logic expression and the logic lux smart components. Logic gate is located here. It consists of two inputs and an output and the output is based on whether the inputs are high or low and this operator. At the minute this operator is an AND so we need both input A and input B for output to turn on. There are many different types of operators. We have the AND, OR, XOR, NOT and NOP, which means no operation. And this just passes through. Down below we have the delay, and this is very useful for adding delays in your simulation. For example, if we add a delay of one second and start the simulation, we can see when we select input A, the output will turn on after one second. If we turn it off, the output will turn off after one second. This works with any operator. As you can see, next we have the logic expression. Logic expression is very similar to the logic gate, apart from we have to type the logic ourselves. For example, if we say input A and input B and apply it, you can see two inputs are made under output. And this behaves exactly like the AND gate. So we have A and B, we can see that the result turns on. We can add more to this, so we can AND C. C turns up. We can also do other operations, so OR. D, so that will turn on. We can do X or E. That will turn on, turn off. And we can do not, but we have to add or not for F. So not F. It also works, and you can do lots of different ones. You can also do equal and not equal to. So if A equals B, it's like an if statement. So if A equals B, the result turns on, and if it doesn't, it turns off. And you can also do not equal to B. that. You can also use symbols instead of typing out and you type out to ampersand. Or is two vertical lines. X or is one up character and not is a exclamation mark before the input. Cool. Next we have the logic mux. I don't use this one too often. What we have in the logic mux is the output and this output links to input A or input B depending on the selector. So let's turn on input A. We can see that it passes through to the output. If we select to one. Now input B is passed 
with a move to the output and not a I can't think of many examples to use this. Maybe if we had a uh, timer that's producing a pulse every 0.1 seconds, we could pass it through A. And if we wanted a different timer, the passes through every one second we can use this as a selector of different frequencies in the next video I'm going to go over object split the SR latch and the converter see ya